Filecoin is making the news lately because the first quarter of 2022 is drawing to a close. And according to its roadmap, the open network of the payment net should go live this quarter. So, Filecoin holders are looking forward to it as they cannot wait to sell the coins they've mined in the past four years. Now, if you're hearing about Filecoin for the first time, don't worry, I'll give you the full gist in this video. Also, if you're already a pioneer and you're wondering what's the latest with the Pi Network, this video is for you. I'll talk about how to do your KYC, how to register on Pi for new persons, how much Pi you can mine daily, the date for Pi launch, and more. If you're ready, let's jump right in. Hi guys, my name is Chima and you're welcome to Inside Crypto, where we talk about everything cryptocurrency, coin reviews, exchange reviews, DeFi, blockchain technology and more. Please subscribe to this channel if this topic interests you and also ping the notification bell so you don't miss any interesting videos from us. Now, back to Pycoin. Pycoin is the native token of the Pi Network. It is a cryptocurrency designed for everyday people. In other words, it was created to grant all and sundry access to crypto. Nicholas Kokalis and his team founded the project on March 14, 2019. The Pi Network is a community of developers and users with the goal of securing global adoption for the Pi coin. Usually, in the cryptocurrency space, the project and the token are first launched before seeking a community of users to add value to it. But the case is different for Pi, where the growth or advancement of the project largely depends on the increase in the number of users. The Pi coin does not have any economic value yet, and the interesting thing about this coin is that it can be mined using your mobile phone. It does not require energy or advanced technology like the mining of Bitcoin. Just tap a button on your phone daily and you earn Pi coins. So how do you do that? Let me quickly share my full screen to show you. You have to first download the Pi app. To do that, you can follow the link in the description to download it, or you just go to App Store or Play Store, depending on your device, and download the Pi app. After downloading it, you open it and then decide how you want to be verified, whether it's to continue with Facebook, continue with phone number, or signing with Apple or with Google, depending. So me, I'm going to use phone number. So I'll tap on it, then I'll select my country. My country is Nigeria. So I'll put in my phone number and I will press go. The next step is to set up a password and hit submit. Then the next thing is to set up your account. You put in your name, your last name, and you choose a username. And hit submit. Yay, you're now in the home page of the app. So you see that welcome message, just click get started. Then tap that lightning symbol. That is how you mine Pi. Just tap the lightning symbol. And you see that you started mining Pi. Okay. So select whether you want to receive notifications to go back to end or, or not. So now, if you want, you can click on start tour so that they can show you around the app so you know what is in the app. So that's it. So you're now earning Pi. Now that you've seen how to mine the Pi coin, let's talk about how much you can make from Pi coin. As mentioned, Pi coin does not have any economic value yet, but you need to know about its mining rate. That is the rate at which the coin is mined. It is measured per hour. Initially, the coin was mined at 0.8 Pi per hour, but it is now mined at 0.1 Pi per hour. So, if you start mining Pi now, you receive Pi coins at the rate of 0.1 Pi per hour. That is 2.4 Pi coins every day. It looks small, right? So you need to mine every day to accumulate a lot of them. By the time the open network of the main net is launched, you'll be able to convert all the Pi coins you've mined for real cash or other cryptocurrencies. How then do you make sure that you mine as many Pi coins as possible? 
I'll tell you in a bit, but before I do that, give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead, like it. <laughs> it's for free. And you help this channel to grow if you do that. One way to earn many Pi coins is via referral. You must have seen that coming, right? You earn 25% bonus on your mining when you invite your friends to mine Pi. 25% bonus, that's impressive. And I'm sure you don't want to miss it. So go ahead and invite your friends to mine Pi. Your referral link is right there on the home page when you open the app. That said, let's look at the different roles in the Pi network. They are number one, Pioneer. This is the first row a user assumes once he registers on the platform. All there is to do is open the app daily and tap the mining symbol. Number two, Contributor. For a user to be a contributor, he must have completed three earning sessions as a pioneer. A contributor earns at a higher rate by adding other members to his security circle. Now, the security circle refers to three to five members in an earning team because they trust each other. You choose who you want to be in your circle. This role helps the Pi network to secure transactions. The third role is the ambassador. A user becomes an ambassador by inviting people to join the platform. Ambassadors earn up to 25% bonus, like I mentioned earlier, on their base mining rate for each person they invite. Lastly, we have the node. The node is a user that joins in running the blockchain of the Pi network. I will now talk about where we are right now on the Pi network. What is the fate of pioneers and how do we prepare for the open network of the mainnet? We will get a clearer picture when we look at the roadmap of Pi. There are three core phases and they are the beta phase, the test net, and the main net. Let's take them one after the other. For the beta phase, it started in December 2018 when the app was created, but the project officially launched when the white paper was released in March 2019. In this beta phase, all pioneers could do was mine coins and invite friends to do so. They could also add people to their security circle. The beta phase lasted till March 14, 2020, when the test net was launched. During the first year of this beta phase, the network grew from zero to 3.5 million engaged pioneers. That is super cool. <laughs> now, the test net phase. Just like the name sounds, the test net was a test run for the main net. The functions tested include the connectivity, the performance, the security, and scalability of the Pi blockchain. This phase lasted from March 2020 to December 2021, and the following were achieved during the testnet phase. First of all, over 10,000 fully functioning community nodes were registered, and over 100,000 nodes are still on the waiting list. Secondly, users could create applications and run it on the testnet. Thirdly, pioneers grew from 3.5 million to over 30 million. The testnet phase proved that decentralization could be achieved on Pi Network. Now to the mainnet phase. <laughs> this is where you can cash out your Pi coins and even though it launched in December 2021, you cannot cash out your coins yet. That's because there are two network periods in this phase, the enclosed and open network periods. If you notice, I've been mentioning the open network launch ever since I started this video, but let's understand the two different periods. For the enclosed network period, which is where we are right now, it was created to give pioneers time to complete KYC and move their mind pie to the mainnet. That way, when the open network starts, everyone can start transacting with pie at the same time. For this enclosed network, Pi out to pioneers and pioneer to pioneer transactions can take place, but connection to external blockchains and crypto exchanges is not allowed. This means that you can use your Pi to purchase goods and services within the Pi network, but you cannot exchange it for other cryptos or fiat money. And like I said, this enclosed period is for users to be able to complete their KYC. I will now share my phone screen with you to show you how to complete your KYC if you're already a pioneer. To complete your KYC, you go to the menu on your Pi app, then click on Pi Browser and select Sign in to Pi Browser. Just download the Pi Browser, let it be on your phone. Then you come back to the Pi app, click on the menu, select Pi Browser. Now you will see um, an icon saying KYC.Pi. Click on it. You will see a pop-up. We have um, Pi is requiring that you share some information with it, so you click on Allow.
Now the next message says, sorry, we've reached the current participation limit. If you have already submitted your KYC application, please wait. Okay, so you just hold on. It means that you're not eligible to complete KYC yet. So you just hold on to when you're eligible, but that's how you complete your KYC. You go to your menu, go to Pi Browser, and then select KYC.py. Now that you've seen how to complete your KYC, let's talk about the open network period. Depending on the maturity of the enclosed network period and the progress of the KYC, the open network will begin on Pi Day, which is June 28, 2022 or later. Actually, the Pi Day is also March 14th, but because we've already passed March 14th, so we're looking at June 28, 2022 or later. In the open network period, Connection to other blockchains and exchanges becomes possible and you can now exchange your Pi for other cryptos or fiat money. Talk about true decentralization because the Pi core team will no longer be in sole control of the network. So, what your mining in the mainnet look like? Mining will still be by tapping your app, but the number of coins you can mine per hour will be different. In the mainnet, an increase in mining rate is a function of your security circle, the number of referred friends that are actively mining, number of the Pi tokens you've locked up, the time you spend on the network interacting with other applications, the nodes you have running, and other necessary contributions for the network growth in the future. You're probably wondering, what is Pi coin worth? Well, let's look at its tokenomics. The total supply of Pi coin is 100 billion Pi coins. 80% of this is available to be mined by the Pi community, while 20% is for the Pi core team. The rate at which the 80% is mined is the same rate at which the 20% is released to the Pi core team. For example, if 5% of the 80% is mined, which is 4 billion Pi, then 5% of the 20% will be released to the Pi core team, which is 1 billion Pi. Furthermore, the 80% community supply is further divided into 65% for past and future pioneer mining reward, 10% reserved for ecosystem building, which we manage by the Pi Foundation, and the 5% reserved for liquidity pool to ensure that anyone can purchase Pi at any time. Interesting, right? <laughs> so, this is where we are in the Pi network right now, and I hope you're pretty excited. Please note, Pi Network is not doing any ICO or IEO or launch pad. Also, Pi Coin is yet to be listed on any crypto exchange. Therefore, if anyone is trying to sell Pi Coin to you, that is scam. They may even decorate their profiles with the pictures of the core team members to lure you, so you have to be cautious. Moreover, the only way to claim the Pi Coin you mine is through the app. Any website asking you to claim Pi through it is what? A scam. Again, no one knows the price of a Pi coin yet, not even the core team members. So if anyone is telling you any price, the person is lying to you. Nevertheless, a project with this number of holders is very promising. So you want to keep mining your Pi coins and look forward to when the open network period will be launched so that you can now convert your coins for cash or use them to buy other cryptocurrencies. We have now come to the end of this video and I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friend. It helps this channel to grow because YouTube recognizes that this content is valuable and promotes it. You have to subscribe to this channel. What are you waiting for? Please hit that red sub button and pin the notification bell. We have more amazing videos coming up and you don't want to miss them. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!